For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. I got a up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the all record, off record. I. Charles, you have finally lost your senses. This venture is impossible. For some. Gentlemen, the only way to achieve the impossible is to believe it is possible. That kind of thinking could ruin you. I'm willing to take that chance. Imagine trading post in Rancourt. Here's the thing, Trump nominates outspoken critic David Malpass, right? He's nominated from the Treasury Department. Here's the executive order right here. A uh, financial system that creates economic opportunities. U.S. Department of Treasury. Donald Trump, huh? Donald Trump, outspoken critic David Malpass, the head of the World Bank. President Trump nominated Treasury Department. Well, what's the Treasury Department working on? Oh, they're working on the financial system that creates an economic opportunity. And before we go, let me just show you one thing, guys, and we're about to get out of here. Let me show you one thing before we go. Huh? Say my name. <laughs> say my name. Ripple say is name. called out by name in this executive order. Guess who else is in here? Stripe. There's Stripe right there. Visa. Huh? R3. What? Who else is on here, guys? Believe it or not, I went through this. I tied them into everybody in here. TD Ameritrade. Uh, it gets ridiculous. Google. Google's invested in Ripple. Yeah, Google's invested in Ripple. MasterCard. What? And believe it or not, Amazon. Huh? Oh, come on now. SEC is looking to approve market transparency and monitor risk via new search tool. So, the U.S. Securities Exchange Committee has initiated a research into the need for a search tool to keep track of the data on major blockchains related to various cryptocurrencies. The financial regulator has decided and planned to make the market more transparent with regards to the identification of crypto wallet holders. The SEC released an official solicitation notice on the 31st of January 2019 which stated that it was issued keeping the objective in mind to determine the accessibility and technical capabilities of the major and minor businesses in the market and to provide blockchain data to support the SEC's efforts to monitor risk, improve compliance, and inform commission policy with respect to digital assets. The SEC authority is basically looking forward to holding control and ability to recognize the digital asset of various crypto wallet holders, the addresses and their link-ups to related cryptocurrencies. This is an angle which might not sit comfortably with various cryptocurrency investors and owners. 
but for the time being, this is the only direction which has been recognized as legitimate. SEC is seeking information for potential sources to support the goal of acquiring data for the most widely used blockchain ledgers, including the universe of available information and transaction details. Guys, I don't know what is actually taking place and what direction the SEC is going to go, but from the looks of this, they absolutely, you know, want to keep a finger in the digital asset world. That is clear from the words that they have here. Guys, I'm going to wrap it right there. All I know is when I think about those kind of questions and I think about those kind of things, the thing that starts to come back to me is what does Chris Larson say? He says it's about mass adoption and it's about globalization. Isn't that what we're seeing right here? It looks like you ran afoul of something with wicked claws. But I'm still dreaming. What did that to you? Banner or bandit. The bandersnap? Well, I'd better have a look. What are you doing? It needs to be purified by someone with evaporating skills or it will fester and putrefy. I'd rather you didn't. I'll be fine as soon as I wake up. At least let me bind it for you. What do you call yourself? Alice. The end? There's been some debate about that. I never get involved in politics. You'd best be on your way. What way? So Binance uh, X Rapid Partners, um, I think again um, we're focused on just uh, launching more features right now. So we will, we are working with a number of other partners. Um, so, but X X Rapid, we're uh, there's nothing going on right now. But in the future, we definitely want to add uh, them as a partner. Welcome to Memorial. I believe this belongs to you. The Vorpal Sword is home. The armor is complete. the internet to make plans, connect, work, and play together. The internet hosts our lives. So why do we entrust it to organizations who typically don't have our best interests at heart? Most of our communications flow through centralized web servers where corporations control our online experience. They collect our information, limit our access to it, and then sell it to advertisers. And because a centralized internet concentrates power, it's vulnerable. It can be censored, hacked and manipulated. The internet is broken. 
But what if no one stood between you and your data or dictated how you connect with friends, family, and community? If the internet were free from central control, it would vastly expand humanity's potential for creativity and collaboration. It would change the whole game. We know this world is possible, which is why we created Holo. Simply get a Holo hosting box, enable yourself and others to access distributed apps through a web browser, and get paid in our secure cryptocurrency, Holo Fuel. Holo Fuel can then be used to pay hosts for data storage and processing. Plus, it makes in app purchases and micropayments easy. Apps available on Holo are built on Holochain, an alternative to blockchain technology that is massively faster, more energy efficient, more scalable, and 10,000 times cheaper. Holochain architecture is so lightweight that you can operate a full Facebook scale node from a single smartphone. That's great news for developers who can build fast applications that scale organically. The easiest way to help launch Holo and participate in its growth is to purchase a Holo port, a pre-configured computer we've optimized to host crypto apps. Just plug it in, connect it to the internet, and start earning. We've teamed up with a world-class hardware supplier to produce three different Holo ports, each with a different capacity for earning Holo fuel. Choose the Holo port that works best for you and quickly earn back the cost of your purchase. If you claim one of the first 1,000, you'll become a founding member. At Holo, we're building the future of the internet, one that doesn't impose or exploit, but empowers. Join our community, run Holo, earn crypto, together we can build a better internet. Uh, so actually I have a lot of uh, traumas, so to speak, from uh, the blockchain company that I co-founded, because when you use the blockchain technology, you just realize how immature it is and how barely it works. So we are actually very diligent about testing any technology that we hear about. And what was very interesting is that we tested two blockchains, one of them I will focus on, that actually work, have potential in my view, and are very interesting from a design perspective. And that's actually our chain, and more importantly, whole chain. So, and really what was kind of stunning for me was when we wanted to test it out, so the developers actually reached out to say, okay, let's install it and just like t test it out that the installation and actually deployment was super simple and even more important, it delivered on what they promised. It worked. So in my view, uh, Holochain has a lot of potential because just how it's designed, kind of they talk a lot about how to set it up from a sustainability and a scalability point of view. So I very much uh, recommend it, if I can say it like that. And I'm just very, uh, I very much look forward to see how they will de deliver their vision going forward. And I wish them the best of luck.